So this term in science, we're going to be learning about materials and today we're going to be thinking about some things that you will have learned in year one. So what we need to think about today is, do we know what materials are and can we remember what properties are? So what you might want to do is you might want to have a chat with someone who's at home and talk about what are materials and what do we mean when we're talking about properties? So. Did you have a think about materials and properties? So here I have got a spoon. This is the object's name is a spoon. The material this spoon is made of is metal. That's its material. And then we need to think about some properties. We could say it's shiny. We could say it is stiff. We could say it's reflective, that light reflects off it. And we could say as well that we can't see through it. They are all properties of this spoon. So remember, sometimes we do use the name of the material to be the name of the object as well, like a glass that you might drink out of. But most of the time, the name of the object and its material are different. So, for example, in the picture on the slide, you can see that these are some Lego bricks. And they are called Lego, but they are made of plastic. So what you need to do is, can you go and have a look around your house and see if you can find some different objects and decide what they're made of, which material are they made of? Sometimes things are made of more than one material, but go and have a look and see if you can find some objects and decide what they're made of. Once you've done that, I want you to have a think about their properties like I did with my spoon a few minutes ago. So in properties, they describe what the material is like. So for example, with my Lego bricks in the picture again, we could say the plastic that's used to make these Lego bricks is hard. You can't scratch it very easily. It's waterproof, so the water doesn't get soaked in. Water will just kind of run off it and it won't damage it. And we could say it's opaque. Now opaque is one of my favorite science words. Opaque just means that you can't see through it no light can travel through it. So I think you'll have learned some properties when you were in year one. Have a chat with someone at home and see if you can remember the names of any properties that you learned last year. So here are some property words that I would like us to remember in year two. You might have heard some of them before, but if not, we're going to talk about what they mean. So waterproof, as we said just a minute ago, means that water won't be soaked up by the object. It will just run off it. So my spoon is waterproof. That's why it's good for eating cereal and milk. Absorbent. That means that a material will soak up liquid. So like a sponge, really, that if you put it on top of some water, the water would all be soaked up. It absorbs the water. So absorbent is something that's not waterproof, really. Reflective, you could say that my spoon is reflective. It means that light bounces off it and it makes it look a bit shiny. You will have a res reflective strip on your book bag if you've got a school book bag so that cars can see their headlights will shine on it. Flexible is just a really posh science word for bendy. So my spoon is not flexible. It's not bendy at all. Whereas some fabric, I've got a blanket here that's made of fabric. This is flexible because I can bend it. And transparent is another of my favourite posh science words. Transparent means see-through, that light can travel through it. It's the opposite of opaque. So what you need to do now is you should have found some objects. If you haven't already, go and find some objects and decide which material they're made of. And then decide what are the properties of those materials, like I did with my spoon and my picture of the Lego bricks. If you don't have anything you can find, there are some pictures on the school website you could talk about with someone. So then there should be a sheet on the home learning page of the school website. On there, there are some photographs of some different materials. And I would like you to just name the material that they're made of. And then on the second page of the sheet, there's a list of properties. And we've just talked about most of them. Can you think of a material that is waterproof. That's the first one. So think of a waterproof material and write the name of that next to the property. Then you've got to do the same for shiny. So a clue could be, you could support my spoon. And then opaque. See if you can find a different material. So my metal spoon. See if you can find a different material for each property. And then just before our story time at about 2.35, We'll have a little get together and we'll see what materials you've managed to find in your house and talk about properties of them. Have fun.